is back with a nail video. She's never done this before. Guys, oh my gosh, yes, I'm doing a nail tutorial and I am so excited. This is how I like do press-ons when I'm going out or anything like that. I type all day for work, so I can't always have acrylic and I love long nails when I, if I'm gonna wear fake nails, I want long nails. So yeah, I don't have time to have it on for long periods of time. So press-ons are my favorite thing and just to save money, I just decided I'm gonna start doing nails on my own. So this is after three layers of that opaque white and I'll link all the products that I am using or if I can get a link for it, I'll link it down below. And then I'm using this pink color, super bright, super vibrant pink. You can use whatever color you want, be creative, be creative. For the mixture, there's no specific like ratio, but you just wanna make sure that it isn't too liquidy and it isn't too thick. Like you don't want just straight gel polish because it won't go through the airbrush machine. So you wanna mix it with acetone, but you don't want it as like liquidy and runny as acetone. So you're just kind of, liquefying or making sure that the gel is just a little bit more runny. Like I have to go back in, you have to, you wanna make sure your ratio is, is kinda like enough. You wanna test it out on a paper. You can test it out on a nail itself just to make sure it's not uh, splotchy or anything like that. You just wanna do it as many times. It's trial and error when it comes to the airbrush thing because you never know like how it's really gonna test out. Like my nail polish could be different from yours. So you just wanna test it out. And I'm going in with circular motions and for each each layer, I'm curing it in between uh, for 60 seconds. Because if you just add a layer and then you go in with the second layer without curing it, it's going to be swatchy. You're gonna get air bubbles, it's gonna just look raggedy. So you don't want it to look raggedy, so we're curing it in between each layer. This is after two layers, 60 seconds, and this is after the third layer that I added. And then for the middle, you kind of want to, you always want to add two colors for the aura because your main color, obviously that's the outer ring, but in order for it to actually get that pop and not just look like a color, like in the middle like that, you want to add a second color in the middle just to give it that kind of dimension. So I'm going in with a stark white and I'm making sure that there's sort of like that dimension and I'm using the circular motions again to get that aura effect. And just have aura nails and that's totally fine. I think these look cute. You could just add a top coat and be fine, but I'm extra and I'm doing chrome. So for the chrome, I'm adding a matte top coat instead here, instead of like a shiny top coat, because since I'm adding the chrome design, I don't want the chrome powder to stick to the areas that I don't want chrome on. So I, to let it be as less like messy as possible, that is why I'm going with the matte top coat. You can go in and just buff the color or the shine out and that's easy as well. But I just find it the best option is to just use a matte top coat. For the design, I'm not an artist, so I'm doing as best as I can. I'm just taking this um, liner brush that I have, like this um, it comes in a set. I'm just taking whichever skinny brush that I have and I'm using a bit of black because the black base is gonna be the best for any chrome color to really pop. And I'm just going in with the design. I am honestly just winging it, whatever you can do do it if you can't do like this sort of design if you can only do like maybe 
a squiggly do a squiggly child do what you can do so as long as you get like a design that's comfortable for you that you like then we all love it if you love it i love it if you like it i love it So I'm curing that for about 60 seconds and I'm going in with a top coat just so that the chrome can adhere to that because although the black is for the base just so it can pop, the top coat is what actually makes the chrome powder stick and give that mirror effect. So you want to make sure that you're adding a top coat before you go in with the chrome powder. If not, you won't get that mirrored effect. It's going to be just, it's just going to look like glitter. And then I'm buffing that in with a silicone brush. You can use just the eyeshadow brush, but I find that the silicone brush can get in the crevices and it's just a lot better when, especially with like the small liner designs, it just gets in all the corners so that no black is peeking through. And that's pretty much it. You're gonna dust it away, the extra powder. And again, with the matte top coat, it makes it a lot easier for you to dust away the excess powder because it doesn't stick to the area that doesn't have top coat. And then to seal that chrome in, you're gonna go in with another layer of top coat. And then you wanna dust away or like buff, make sure all the particles of the chrome is just not on the areas that we don't want it to be with a little bit of rubbing alcohol, just dust that away. And guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know down below, comment down below if you guys want more nail videos or if you like when I do like press on nail videos. Uh, this is very new, hope you guys enjoy. See you guys in my next video.